Hello, pocket knife community, knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Folder here. I want to do a follow-up visit, uh, visit <laughs> video on um, the uh, Moyal, the Migaron Moyal. I did a video, video literally yesterday, and um, I felt compelled to do a follow-up vi uh, video. I keep saying visit. Uh, video on this knife because I gave it such um, high accolades and uh, okay so not that it doesn't deserve the accolades that I gave it but I must say that um, this channel definitely must be true because <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anybody I'm a vlogger um, I would be collecting knives if I wasn't doing videos it wouldn't. I just do the videos as a, um, you know, because I'm just passionate about it. And, you know, I like to see what other people have and for them to see what I have. So that's why I do it. But uh, so regardless. But so, you know, like I said, like I said, I'm not, um, you know, I have no obligation for in, to any brand. Uh, having said that, I do like Migaron knives um a lot um and the moyal uh moyal they just brought out in the titanium m390 and i did a video on it yesterday giving it really high praises i did criticize the pocket clip but um i'm gonna criticize it more i actually carried it for one day and the, the clip my opinion, the clip went from being not a good deal, meaning I love the way it looks. I love the concept of it, but I think that the location is the problem sitting on these um, reliefs in the, in the lock bar. So I, I gave the clip a lukewarm rating. Well, right now I'm going to change that lukewarm rating to unacceptable. And the reason why it's unacceptable is because um, it's non-functioning. So the way this clip is shaped, I think is excellent. And if it weren't for the fact that it actually sits on the lock bar um, tuning, if you will, re relief cuts that are in the lock bar that allow for the lock bar to have the tension that it has. If there were another cut in here, the tension would be lighter. If there were less than three, it would be heavier. So that's how they sort of tune these bars along with the thickness of the bar and everything. But these reliefs can be made on the inside. They don't have to be on the outside like this. So you take this knife and put those, the three cuts on the inside, aesthetically it would look more symmetrical and it wouldn't, it would solve the um, the problem with the pocket clip. This pocket clip is absolutely terrible. Terrible. Uh, I actually have pants that have a, um, a section in the corner of the pants that are designed for pocket knives. Literally designed for it. So it's reinforced there. Um, and it's designed for your for the pocket uh, pocket knife, excuse me, to go in this, the corner of those pants. If I were to carry this knife every day, even with my reinforced pants, eventually this clip would rip up, tear up my pants. Um, yeah, it's just uh, trying to force this thing in the pants and pulling it out was just, um, I, it's just too much. It's just too much. Take a look. Yeah, so, so you see that, um, yeah, that's just not something that, um, that's not how pocket knives work. <laughs> you know, now having said that, there are pocket knives out there that sometimes people just put in their pockets. Like they don't actually 
use the pocket clips. They just put it inside their pocket and they just carry it because there's a pocket knife, right? So they just put it inside their pocket. Um, everything else about this knife for me is so good outside of that clip that uh, am I am I saying I'm not disappointed? Uh, not that much. I mean, only because I like the knife so much outside of that clip. It is a little bit of a problem because it's not functioning exactly the way it's supposed to function. So that is problematic. So it will suffer um, in the ratings with that. But, um, you know, everything else I like about it a lot. I actually like the pocket clip. I actually like the way it looks. It's titanium. I love the way it's shaped. I love the way it has this very contoured way it makes contact um even the tension's great the only problem is where that clip is in relation to those three cuts is a problem and on this knife those cuts are kind of sharp on my particular knife when you rub your finger right on those uh the relief cuts here they my finger gets stuck on them almost like jimping you know yeah, so sad. Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate because what a nice knife. Um, I do want to reiterate that, uh, you know, um, uh, just a, a quick little review um, again about the knife just to hit home with some things because I actually, you know, I actually didn't talk about everything with the knife, but um, I just want to go over a couple things that I didn't mention yesterday. The knife actually has no jimping on the back spine. I don't mind that at all with this knife. A lot of knives, I want the jimping. Some knives, I don't care. Some knives, you, you need it. Some knives, you don't. This knife definitely does not need it. For EDC, where it is, how it is, it's perfectly fine. So I wanted to add that. Um, it doesn't have a formal front, front finger choil, as you could see. But there's a humongous flat spot here. Um, the plunge grinds way back here and, 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 the, and the cut ends there. So for sharpening, this would be an absolute joy. Um, and, uh, you can also use that spot for a, um, to choke up in very comfortable. It's sort of like a choil. It just doesn't, um, it doesn't have the geometry, the full geometry of a choil. Typically it's just, it's just more of a flat. You know, but it is an area where that's very comfortable, so you can choke up and use the knife in this manner. The deployment hole is absolutely excellent. Shape of it, everything. Um, you know, it definitely has um, a shape that's very conducive to the reverse flick, and the slow roll is very positive. The overall detail of the knife, the the scales, the micro milling on the scales, the transitions from the pivot to the scales, the the edges, the chamfered edges, the knockdown edges, the detail is absolutely um, as good as anything else in the market. The attention to detail is is, is amazing. So it, it's very very good. Like I said, it's all T8s. T8 hardware all the way around, and I mean everywhere, except for the except for the over travel. I mean the lock bar um, insert. That's probably a T6. I didn't even check it yesterday. Do I have a T6? Yeah, T6. I'm pretty sure that's a T6, but everything else is a T8, and I mean everything, even the um the screws for the pocket clip. Yeah. So the the uh, the insert, which is is a six. I mean, because that's going to be a six, and that's fine. But Migaron is definitely listening because you need you need basically one bit for this whole thing. You know, really, really, really nicely done. You know, the the um, the, the the satin finish on here almost looks hand done. That's how good it looks. Um, yeah. And like I said, it's M390 steel. I don't know what the heat treat is. I could probably look on the website. Not really necessary. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really nice knife.
very nice knife. Absolute shame about this pocket clip. So I'm going to carry this knife inside my pocket. You know, when I carry this knife, it'll be in my pocket. I'm not tearing up my pants trying to get this thing in and out of my pocket. It will be one of my few knives. I have two or three that I don't use the pocket clip. And they're small knives. They're smaller than this. So this would be my first medium to big size knife that I'm just kind of dropping in my pocket. And it's only because of this. I mean, listen, you still kind of need the pocket clip a little bit because you can you, you use it in the manipulation of the knife also a little bit. You know, you don't realize how much when you do things, you kind of use it as a brace, you grab onto it. I mean, I'm not mad it's there. It's just, you know, just really unfortunate that, um, you know, that's how the, that's how they. So, Migaron, listen, listen, I know you're not going to listen to me, uh, but you do have to address this. It's not affecting you now in sales, I don't think. Uh, because your Migaron is just so hot right now. But people are going to not like this. Like, they're going to... This is going to, in the future, affect your your your, your sales. You're going to need to fix that. Like, I wouldn't buy another... Put it like this. I would not buy another Migaron knife if this is the problem. So, just take that for what it's worth. Okay? That's how strongly I feel about that. I, I love Migaron, but I will not buy, if I see another knife that I like, and I notice that this situation is occurring, I will not, no matter how much I like it, I will not buy that knife. So, hopefully you get to see my video and maybe you'll do something about this. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right. That's all I got. All right.